If you was a kid growing up in the early 2000s, then I'm sure you can remember Beyblade. It had such a huge impact thanks to the show. Nearly every kid owned one. I remember when I was about 7 or 8, and I brought mine to school to challenge a friend. On our break time, we battled on top of the bin. A crowd formed to watch the matches, then the other kids started bringing their blades into school. And the next thing we know, the whole school is having tournaments. Until the head teacher banned it. Yeah. I'm sure you can remember that sad news. You could still play with your friends, but... It just wasn't the same as playing in school. And when there was no one to play with, some kids played this. Beyblade let it rip for the PS1. I remember going apeshit for this. So, my dad bought me the game, I played it, and oh boy. The game was terrible. At the time, I loved Beyblade too much to hate it. So, I even tried to convince myself to like it, but that didn't work. The game was a piece of shit. Let me just show you how bad this game really is. First of all, it opens up with a classic TV show intro. It's a great way to trick expectations. In a new game, the Chief tells you to choose a gender and a starting Beyblade. Once you've done that, you can have a match. There are two playable modes, Tournament and 3 Battle, and that's it. There is a customization option, but more on that later. The game has hardly anything to offer. Anyway, let's just pop into 3 Battle for a match because you can play as characters from the show. There are 8 different Beybladers to choose from, 9 including your own character. There are no hidden characters to unlock, not even the Dark Bladers are in the game. There is so little variety. Also, each character only has one Beyblade. The selling point of the game is the Beyblades. How did they get that wrong? Okay, let's just, let's just have a match, shall we? Tyson is my favourite character, so obviously I'm going to pick him. Let's face uh, Kai, he's a fierce competitor. How is this fun? You forced the rest of the controls. I won the first round by sheer luck due to the poor AI. No skill was required. Why is this Beyblade like a whirlwind? There is a lot of stuff that really annoys me. Let me explain. If you tap the X button when the Beyblades clash, you gain 5 bit beast power. Okie dokie. If you rack up 25 points, you can unleash a deadly attack. However, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't do shit. Each bait beast attack reduces the opponent's HP. When it reaches zero, the Beyblade breaks, but that will almost never happen. The HP is sky high. It'll take forever with this shit attack damage, so this feature is totally pointless. Also, what's the deal with this stupid scoring system? Why is it so confusing? You get two points for out the stadium, and one point if a Beyblade stops spinning, or misses the arena. Shouldn't you just get two for each of them? That would make more sense. And this Bay Stadium is the only arena in the game. This is a right joke. In the show, the Blade Break is battled in many different unique Bay Stadiums. Why didn't they include this arena? Or maybe this one? Did they even try? They could have added an option that lets you customise the colour at least, but they didn't. And guess what? Every battle plays the same song. It's actually an alright tune, right? It's really good, but after a while, you'll get sick of it. Just like the voice acting. You can't even make out what the guy is even saying. Bladers, are you done with your final adjustment? You know what, you're probably just best off muting the telly. Bladers, are you- There we go. I guess the only good thing going for this game is the graphics. They're amazing. It's really good for its time and it blew me away when I was younger. I can't really think of anything else positive to say. So, let's move on. In tournament mode, your character has entered the championship battles. There is a total of seven matches, making this a rather short story if you can even call it that. In the first few rounds, you face generic Beyblades at random. Their names are Blader A, B or C. Wow, they couldn't even be bothered to give them proper names. It's just as lame as I remember. You can easily beat them. Simply, those guys can't seem to launch a Beyblade correctly. What a How did they even qualify for the championships? After each match, your Beyblade will be slightly damaged. 
You'll be given a choice to repair it, but you'll never need to. You can go through the entire tournament with little to no damage, and if you do decide to repair it, your Beyblade stats decrease. Who is that stupid to pick that option? What a dumb decision! Now you would assume the tournament gets harder as you go along, right? Well, funny enough, it doesn't. If anything, it gets easier. Most of the time, I'll let it rip into the arena, and I hit them once, causing them to spin out the stadium. Sometimes, I don't even need to hit them. Honestly, you don't need to put any effort into the match. The AI is that generous, it does all the work for you. Unless your random opponent is Max, that bastard game in hard times, a kid. His Beyblade is a tank. It sponges every goddamn hit. You lose so much spinning power trying to knock him out of the arena. The blade stats are so unbalanced, it breaks the game. Realistically, the only way to beat him is when his Beyblade stops spinning. So if you ever face him, you better hope he doesn't get a good launch, or else it's back to the start. In the finals, we take on Robert. He's the one with the big ass bear blade. His blade's so big, it takes up half the stadium. It's a major advantage. When you smash into it, it always bounces off the arena sides, which is bollocks. He is definitely the highest blader out of the bunch, but due to the poor AI and physics of the game, this one shouldn't take you too long. And there you go. In about half an hour, you are now the new undeserving Beyblade champion. Okay, I did it. I'm the champion. I'm the best of the best. So what's the reward for being the number one Beyblader in the world? So what's the prize? What is it? It's a... Uh, it's a weight disc! What? What a stupid prize! The weight disc in the starting Beyblade is better than the prize. This is bollocks, man! The only reason to play tournament mode is to win new parts. You can use these parts in customization mode. It's an alright feature, but the problem is the bloody shop. Look at these prices! 200 bear points for a Dragoon Bit Beast! What a ripoff! You can only earn bear points with your character, which is bullshit. You get 10 points if you win, and 5 if you lose. You would have to play at least 20 matches to afford it, and that's if you win them all. The grind is real. If you want to construct a good Beyblade, you'll need to play over 100 matches. Who has the time and balls to sit down and do that shit? Not me, that's for sure. So what is it to do now? Nothing. That's what. As a kid, I was a fool to even like this game in the slightest, but now I see what it truly is. A cash-in on the beloved Beyblade brand. It's insulting. That's what it is. Oh, wait, yeah, there is multiplayer, but I have a better idea.